Hey everyone, in this video we'll learn how to create this animating paging indicator. We'll start very simple and adding the functionality step by step. Uh, if you have any question, let me know in the comments. We'll be happy to help and have a nice day. I have already created the UI. It's very simple, scroll view with the paging. Also, I used some of the functions. Also, this view from the last video. If you don't know what is this function do or about this view, you can watch this video. I have explained everything. But simply, this functions is let us know which view is displayed on screen now. For example, we have first view is red. So here, index will tell us, okay, now the view number one on the screen. So scroll to the second view will tell us now is the view number two. And based on these numbers, we can create many things like animations. And we have here, his stack with the circles. It's very simple. And this is taste. We don't need all this state, but I have added just to explain things and how this animation work. So what we need to create this animation, if you look to this next circle, so when you scrolling to the bottom, the next one gets bigger. So first thing, we need to add geometry leader and we need to know the height of the screen. So on this shape, I wanna add background with geometry they return as just a color so I need the height of this shape I want to add overlay to the scroll view so we can see the numbers and I will sign this scroll view height to the number one. Let me just copy this. So now we can see the height is very small. Let's make it bigger. Now we have the height of the screen. The next step is I want to know the position of this view on the screen is moving to the top or to the bottom. But if we scroll to the top, we have negative numbers and to the bottom positive numbers. So I want always positive numbers. And also we'll divide it by the screen height. If we now display the progress, You see always is positive numbers. The next step is I want to know which view is on the screen now. If we scroll to the bottom we give us one, two, and the three because based on these numbers we need to know which circle should get bigger. Now we have a CG float but I want an integer, just a number, so I will sign it inside int. 
if we do the same here we make num num2 inside an integer you will see the difference will be just a number not a cg float the next step is I want to know which view is the next one so on the app the we are on the first view is the the first circle is the bigger so if we move to the next one the second circle gets bigger also if we, if we move to the third one the third circle gets bigger so we need to know the next one I will just copy paste this one and name it next circle and plus one so now we are on the first view zero this one will be one on the second view is one this one will be two we just add plus one so now all we need to add the numbers to the circles I have made one update I have changed the name before was current circle with actually should be height not width so we need one more thing to sign these numbers to this state so we can use this state inside this view So now we are on index 0 this means the first circle so we move it to the bottom we'll add it to the second one and so on so now let's create the animation it is very simple we say if min y Less than 100, we say current index use this state equal index this one. So now when we move to the second view, we need to add it inside a positive number.
So I need to add one more thing. If you see on the finishing app, when we tap on this circle, we'll move to the bottom. So by using scroll view reader.